Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's actually uh, Friday the 25th and because I have no concept of time, I'm actually heading to my doctor's appointment to follow up with um, the APRN from my surgeon's office. So it's a bariatric follow up, if you guys can't already tell by the title. So yeah, today I'm blessing you guys. <laughs> sarcasm with two videos um, I'll have a video if it's already uploaded at 12 o'clock because right now it's 744 and um, I'm running a little tiny bit late to this appointment um, I found kittens in the backyard and all this crap so and then I took my boys out and stuff like that so you know I, I, I got, got got a little you know distracted like I am right now instead of talking about what the fuck I need to talk about right um okay guys so I'm about in October I'm going to be October 20 something I'm going to be two years out post lap band to the sleeve revision I did have the lap band for two years before then and I liked my lap band I really did I lost a lot of weight I was so like freaking you know um, motivated and shit and then I was suffering really on the inside I would get stuck anytime I try to eat really really healthy those foods were getting just stuck and I would throw up so I spent most of my days just up chucking or PBing is what the the bariatric community calls it productive burp which means you fucking puke um, you pretty much just bring up all the food that you threw up because it's just sitting right there and I've talked about this in all my older videos and you guys can take a look at those I have a shit ton of videos though so I mean I can't really pinpoint when they were updated but um let's tuck these hairs in these scraggly hairs girl I got time for it so yeah so I was throwing up a lot and then I it took a lot for me to finally consider the sleeve because I thought that if I went for the sleeve that I was a failure and I still feel like a failure uh, because I didn't do good on the sleeve so <clears throat> a couple months ago yeah about two months ago I uploaded a video for you guys it was an update video it's been a while and I gained weight and I was very unhappy um, with just the way I was feeling and then I noticed that I gained um, my lowest weight was 247 and at that point I think I was like 265 or something like that so I gained 20 pounds and I'm like what the fuck bitch like I was like unacceptable that's not what we're doing the Sun is in my face I'm so sorry guys I'm like wearing my workout gear I did go for a little walk up and down my driveway um, because you know bitch is shy and I'm I apologize. Oh, fuck. it's traffic now right um, so I apologize for the sun being in my face but I'm sorry I have to get going and it's early morning um so anyway I digress so I gained 20 pounds very unhappy I can feel that I gained the, here we go I can feel that I gained the 20 pounds hold on I promise you I can multitask I just don't want to take a risk so anyway um yeah I, I was very unhappy I could definitely feel it in my knees very very badly oh my god the school start already for some people fuck um yeah definitely feel it felt like crap it, it was it was a struggle excuse me sir are you gonna let me go sir thanks thanks um so yeah not feeling good of course i'm trailing off and doing two things at once uh wasn't feeling good didn't like the way i felt then like the, i definitely don't fucking like the way i look i mean i'm cute from here up <laughs> or maybe from here up because there's cleavage but from here down, I feel, you know, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, I feel like I look sloppy. I, I don't dress sloppily. I try not to. Um, I try to present myself a different way, but I feel, how I feel is totally different than how I try to look. Does that even make sense? Anyway, whatever. We're like five minutes into this shit. I'm so sorry, guys. These are my rambly videos, so welcome to the madness. You can watch my beauty videos if you want. These are my, my real life I'm fat journal but yeah anyway so then I came back to you guys after seeing my surgeon and I said that I'm gonna try to get back on track one because I need it for myself and I was ready and two because I sure as fuck did not want to start this crap process again by going to the nutritionist and stuff which by the way I know showed my appointment I had a nutritionist appointment last week uh, no, 
off Tuesday or Wednesday and I had a meeting at work and that took priority over me going to see the nutritionist because they were like, oh, you need to bring in a food journal um, so we can see what you're eating. I'm like, you guys know I'm post, you know, I'm a post, you know, surgical patient, right? They're like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, so annoying. So I was like, no, I'm not. I mean, I do keep track of my food. Um, I use MyFitnessPal, the best, best app that I have used thus far. I know everyone has their preference, um, but, oh, motherfucker, you almost hit me, you fucking road rage. That's part of the videos, too. So anyway, I came to you guys, got my Hannah done. I was disappointed in myself, wasn't feeling good. And then I decided to start kind of resetting my sleep. So I put myself on a pre-op liquid diet where I would drink mostly my shakes throughout the day and I'll eat like a light snack, um, like rolled up ham and cheese, like stuff like that. Like low fat cheese is what I've been eating lately. Um, cheese has no carbs in it, which is a-okay in my book. And a lot of people are like, oh, you need to cut out cheese. And I'm like, that blasphemous language, you need to take that shit somewhere else. I cannot give up cheese. Uh, when I'm ready, I guess I can, but I ain't doing that shit no time soon. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, so I do, I'm not overeating cheese, if that's anyone's concern, which is it, it isn't. But, you know, like I, and I was making so many amazing choices, and I still am. I've eaten like crap a few times this week, which I ain't feeling. But at the end of the day, I'm so conscious of what I'm eating and I'm documenting everything I'm eating. If I lick a Twix, I am going to put that I ate a whole Twix, like a whole two bar of Twix. Because I need to like be accountable. I need to look at those numbers and be like, bitch, you made a bad decision that day. You know, like I need to be held accountable. And some days I don't, I, I wasn't documenting everything at one point. So, you know, you don't see it. You don't see it laid out for you. Um, which sucks because some, some people like me I need to see it laid out I'm sorry I'm like in the highway and I'm on the bridge so it's like every two seconds so yeah I, I'm, I'm, I definitely recommend download, downloading my fitness pal you can update it with your weight your date of birth all that stuff I don't have the plus version because <laughs> I ain't feeling to pay for shit uh, I already pay for enough in my life and the last thing I need to pay for is for an application just so I can get premium bullshit, whatever. So you can pretty much create your own um, recipes. What I do that I find is more effective is that I literally de deconstruct all my food onto my fitness pal. If, if I ate um, a chicken breast and it had panko breaded, I'll, I will look up panko breaded chicken breast and then I'll do it separately to see what it looks like what it realistically looks like I'm not trying to make shit up um, sometimes some it doesn't have everything you have so if I made a homemade chicken breast and it was three ounces I'm gonna do that and then if I was specific and I only use like maybe two tablespoons of panko breading fuck, I gotta get on this name um, then I'm gonna be realistic with that as well and I scan everything that's the great thing about that app is that if your food has a barcode on it like if you're eating a bag of chips you scan it and it just takes it from that and it's the most beautiful thing my yogurts and everything like that I scan them I love it I love it it's quick and easy especially from when I'm at work I don't have time to sit there and type it up I'll just scan it real quick yes I ate it if I ate all of it I usually put that I ate a whole serving rather than if I only eat half because again I want to hold myself accountable and I'd rather overestimate than underestimate because boo boo that's just a disaster so yeah that's what I've been doing so as of today I know I'm rambling as of today I weighed myself this morning and I was like 255.2 when I started this I was 263.6 or something or two no 263 even and then I dropped. So I, I think I'm doing really well for it being three weeks on Wednesday. It was three weeks on Wednesday that um, I had started this little process and eating better and being more self-conscious of myself. And yes, for the first week, I was strict on myself, at least the first three days until I kicked into ketosis, um, which that means is when the liver, the fat of your liver starts, um, it, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's <laughs> medical terminology here is missing me because I'm 
paying attention to traffic but when you kick into ketosis it's it's not very good for people that are diabetic in a sense you have to be very very careful with keto based diets because of that because if you have like blood sugar issues and stuff like that so that i recommend being under a doctor's supervision for that but i knew because i've done this diet so many times but i wasn't as strict as the liquid pre-op diet was i was reasonable so i'd come home at night and i'll eat like a meal but like no carbs so it wasn't like i was completely starving myself all day and that i was only um drinking my shakes and stuff like that i was drinking so much water i got constipated girl it was ugly 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 so i i always say be mindful of that stuff if that's what you're trying to do to reset but what it did was it made me get fuller quicker and your muscle your stomach is a muscle so it does stretch a little bit it's not like it's going back to a full pouch of stomach but it you know you kind of that sensor goes away and you start eating more and more and more and more and it sucks so yeah I do notice now when I do eat something I get full very quickly and I love it um, I know that that can dissipate very easily and I can if I'm distracted um, I can very easily go back to eating a lot and I overate the other day and when I tell you I felt like shit for like four hours and the next day I went back I had my shakes I had water I had broth you know because you're allowed broth even though it's high in sodium just flush it out with lots of water um, so yeah it was it was crazy and I was like oh I like that I'm more self-conscious though I really do I appreciate it so much more and I was taking this sleeve for granted like this is my tool um, in order for me to live longer and be happier and hopefully you know become a little smaller than I am right now I'm not trying to be a motherfucking supermodel and shit like that but I am trying to be a healthy weight my goal weight and I told you guys many many videos ago when I finally discussed what my highest weight was and what my weight was because that was the numbers were embarrassing to me and I didn't want to discuss that I didn't feel like it was anyone's business but I knew that you guys that are watching this really kind of look at numbers and you know it, it you want to know so I finally had said something and I finally said what my lowest weight was I actually got down because I, um, I went to see my my primary so I went to see my primary he told me he was like last year 368 days ago you were 246.6 and I was like fuck that was my lowest weight even though in my head 247.2 because that's where I plateaued the most I did manage to get down to 246.6 and that's fully clothed at the doctor's office you know after the you know the day has spread so I did pretty good with this and I want to continue if I can hit my goal weight of 200, I'll be very happy. Very, very happy. I'll be content. And I know that that's going to come with loose skin. And I'm going to have other insecurities, which I already kind of do. So, it is what it is. I just, I know that mentally I need to be ready to continue this journey. And that I can't give up. Because it's, it's going to, this is a lifetime decision. This is a lifetime struggle. This isn't going to go away just because you fucking laid on the table, got some anesthesia, and you got your stomach open. And motherfuckers are quick to say, oh, you took the easy way out. Well, bitch, did I? Because I'm still fat. I'm still fat. I'm still unhappy. I'm still not healthy, and I'm still not where I want to be. I'm healthier. My blood pressure is, like, amazing. I have way more energy than I used to, but I also have a real life. I deal with a lot of stressors and I'm, I'm only human so I, I, I've had plenty of discussions and mostly arguments about people that feel like I took the easy way out and I'm like well fuck it it's so easy you do it then you do it I welcome you to do it I ain't gonna sit I'm gonna sit there and look at you like you fucking bull or something because I I just can't fathom why such ignorance for shit like that I hate the sun in my face i'm a night person anyway i know i rambled on long enough but i did want to update you guys so you guys are like amazing those of you that watch these i love you guys so much i love all my subscribers and all my supporters my true supporters i really love you guys so much i've come a long way from when i started this journey though i'll tell you that much and i only have one full second chin rather than three so i appreciate that as well <laughs> yeah so i'm down right now 255 i will be going to the doctor right now so we gonna see what their scale says but at least i just weighed myself 
I know what I am to 55.2 today. Normally my weigh-in is Sunday. So I might be back to 257 where I've been for the last week and a half. So, and that's fine. My weigh-ins are every Sunday. As of today right now though, it says 255.2. I'm going to weigh myself at my doctor's office and it's gonna be a difference because every scale is different. So I'm gonna at least have my numbers. So I know that if I weigh myself at home that day, that when I go to the doctor, it's gonna be maybe three pounds over it, or you know, 2.2 pounds over, or difference to my scale. Jesus Christ. I really don't like my car, and it's like, the sun! <sighs> anyway, <laughs> anyway guys, I'm almost here, so yeah. I love you guys so much. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I will try my best to answer them. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good, though. I feel good. I have a migraine, though. And I've had a fever for the last five... No, I've had a fever since last week, like, on and off. So I don't know if, like, my lady bits are acting up and I'm, like, ovulating fucky or something because I am on birth control. Or if... I don't know. I just have a, a virus or something. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I feel like shit. I, I mean, I feel good, but I have a fever, so... And then I get migraines. I've been getting a lot of migraines lately, so... Anyway, potato, potato, I will just deal. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this was another rambly video, but yeah, I already know coming into this. You should already know this is pretty rambly. But yeah, so that's it um, for my update. I will be checking in with the doctor. I'll try to check in again in another three weeks because it seems like that's what's going on now, which is fine with me if I can remember. And yeah. Let me turn into the street before I hit this guy. <laughs> anyway, guys. Love you guys. Bye.